And welcome to Outlet Season 3.9. I'm your host and caster, Waffles for Sid, and joining me today is the lovely Tropic Theory, and we have an exciting matchup for you all tonight. Uh, first, we have Barbecue Dad and the Disappointments versus their debut match here at Outlet Season 3.9, Blue's Clues Bandit. Now, Ooh. Tropic. This is the first time we're seeing Blue's Clues Bandits, and we heard about them some from Misfit when we were on uh, the Nest podcast last night. So I'm really curious to see, you know, what these teams are going to bring to the table, and especially considering the fact that a patch update just went through. Uh, so what do you think is actually going to be shown here today against these two teams? You are right. Patch, no, patch notes are hot and live off the press as of yesterday, but Blue's Clues Bandits, you know, they have no pressure, but all the pressure in the world thanks to Misfits <laughs> for putting them at the top of his power rankings. And, you know, not only that, but they were one scrimming 2.8k and they raised their SR scrim um, level to 3.9. So oh. I'm looking forward to seeing, um, you know, what that practice um, has come to pay off with Blue's Clues. But also, shout out to Goliad because it was his birthday recently. So happy birthday, Goliad. But Sid, I'm pretty stoked. Um, but the uh, Barbecue Dads also um, played against one of the, one of, you know, the contenders teams that we were chatting about yesterday on the Nest, mm -hmm. which was Council of Anime Girls. So having that experience of playing a one of those contender teams i would assume that the coaches had a lots of odd review um even though it was a 3-0 um there's still a lot there to improve on um so i'm pretty excited to see what barbecue dads have improved on and what how they'll play against this all no pressure but all the pressure in the world um team blues clues bandits but we are going to nepal here so sid you ready ready yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you know what nepal is going to be great there's a lot of different types of uh, maps that are presented as this map as a whole control is unique you have you know potentially three different settings for your team to engage in and each one can be very different uh looks like we are going to start off here in village where uh it is pretty enclosed could favor some of the brawly comp if you wanted to go that route uh, definitely more ideal here than some of the other Nepal maps, but uh, I don't know what Blue's Clues Bandits is going to bring to the table. You know, Blue's Clues Bandits is a mystery at this point, but I'm pretty sure uh, Barbecue Dads are pretty happy with this first pick of Village. Um, we saw in their last match that they were more or less a brawly comp, um, and you know, mm -hmm. they might be they might bring something different to the table this time around, especially, you know, with patch notes coming up and whatnot, but um, this is also a really good Ryan Zarya map. Um, so I'm expecting some 
pretty brawly comps, as it does look like here we're going having a Sim versus a uh, Reaper Maze. And... Oh, yeah. Well, both teams with the Lucio here as well. So going to be moving quickly towards the point. And uh, it'll be, well, we'll have to see how they engage here on this initial push. Two very different paths chosen by the teams, but engagement still coming through here in the middle of the uh, village itself. Maywell comes up and is taken down. Those Sim turrets are already set up there for Blue Sim Bandits as well. They've established themselves on the point, but Barbecue Dad is pushing forward, not wanting to give up any ground or aggression on this front. Both Maywell's up and then broken almost just as quickly as well. Not quite finding the picks they were wanting. Point does manage to get capped in favor of Barbecue Dad, but right now, oh, all the kills are coming in favor of Blue's Blue's Tropic. Ooh, you know, um, that comp that Blue's Who's This Lane is just such a strong comp to, like, take control of the point. Um, especially paired up with that May that is just a space creation for the team. Um, here they are, once again, 037 getting set up on the point. Um, and lots of alts coming in line in favor of Blue's Clues. Uh, at the same time, we might see the dance of the Reinhardts coming forward with, uh, Clutch having his, uh, his ult coming up soon. So we'll see who gets that big shatter that we are hoping to either take point or keep point. That's right. And uh, Barbecue Dad has rotated all the way around the middle area of the village here and continued to move around to the opposite side that they had approached on. Uh, wall is up when the Earth Shatter is thrown, so isn't finding too much there. Oh, and the Earth Shatter is blocked again, but this time by Goliath, the most recent birthday boy. Sim Wall comes up as well, and the Lucio Sound Barrier to continue reinforcing Blue's Peak on this point as they are, you know, cleaning up Barbecue Dad here. Oh, maybe not. Barbecue Dad still actually staying aggressive and trying to create some space on this point. Oh, the Ant Matrix and the Blizzard are also thrown onto the point as well. That little Sim turret just continuing to put some pressure on the high quality uh, McNuffy though, just trying to continue to make space for his team. The Sim turret getting thrown once again by uh, 037 onto the point. Audacity trying to keep point, and I'm not sure Barbecue Dad is going to be able to flip this. Oh, there it is! Really nice job. They do manage to flip it and take down the rest of Blue's Clues just enough. Definitely. And, you know, Blue's Clues is also playing really well with Dine as needed to be able to regroup strong. Um, they have a lot of alts coming online, including Graf, but high quality to keep this fight in favor of um, Barbecue Taz. We got to see a big, um, big Graf and a big defense coming in from Chino. Um, so we will see how they utilize uh, these all when, as we get start this initiation here and Grab comes off right the bat side with a oh. big Grab following. Yeah, and uh, a lot of players do manage to teleport away there over to the point thanks to 037 on that front. Oh, the Earth Shatter is thrown. It doesn't find too, too much and the kills are coming out of it either. But uh, the point is in possession of Blue Sea Bandits as they still they lose possession there. Barbecue has taken over again. And now they can defensively hold with Death Blossom and Earth Shatter in their pocket. You know what? Barbecue Dads is set up really well here. They have a great offensive alt with the with Audacity and McNuby having the goal of those DPS alts online, as well as Chino still holding that beat. Um, Such has to get Such and Omen have to play really well to be able to bait that Chi that Chino's beat out. And here it is. They're engaging on the point with a shatter coming on and ready to follow up. Wow, and that blizzard manages to catch three people as well, but there's the sound barrier as well coming through out of the note. There's the grab from Suge grouping up a lot of members of BBC Dad, but they are still alive. Death Blossom coming out and it's so my Goliad. Yes. Wow. Nice job there by uh, Blues, Clues, Bandits, and Barbecue Dad. Uh, definitely surprised to see uh, Blues, Clues, Bandits just group up. So it is their debut here. So I guess everything's a little bit of a surprise on that front. Um, but all in all, they did really well. Uh, ooh, they're going to friend the Echo this time. Yeah. So first time seeing the Echo uh, this match after the... Oh, just kidding. Of course. Of course, yeah, they changed doing... it on me. Caster jukes. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, they're, doing, they're doing a great job right now with the utilization and grouping up and their target focus. Um, we are really so they're really showcasing that they truly do scrim at a high level, and their team play is showing it really well. But on the flip side, Barbecue Dads is still in the game. They are 
grouping up and really taking advantage of point when needed. If they clean up their fight a little bit or their gameplay, we're gonna see some really strong Overwatch tonight. Sid. The point flip back and forth between the two teams, and right now Winston's doing their best to continue engaging. That anti comes through from Sage and uh, forcing the rest of Barbecue Dogs to back off and let that clear a little bit. The aggression comes through from Blue's Clues as two kills get in favor of them. High quality trying to keep them at bay, but oh, that Echo with the bubble on top. Oh, it's gonna, she cannot get melted after that. Ooh, yeah. And it looks like we are, Blue's Clues Bandit is gonna flip it in the end here. Uh, Barbecue Dads is still trying to poke out a little bit to take fight as Winston dives in fighting this team again, but Blue's Bandit is taking this fight, in. Ooh, and Omen, an early pick here onto McNewbie to open up the fight. Looks like Barbecue Dad is going to retreat back sub and regroup there. Uh, Echo also getting mowed down from Barbecue Dad. Yeah, Tropic, they're resetting there. They have got to regroup. Definitely a reset. And you know, it's so important on these points to reset early. And it looks like Barbecue Dad's there, which is oh. lingering a little bit. But no, they have two two picks off of this. And this could be a really strong point for the team to just engage, especially if the team has regrouped fully. Yeah. Oh, what is an Overwatch after that? Winston Duke comes in favor of uh, Blue's Pick Bandit there from 037. He is booping at uh, high quality around into that corner, but high quality is such a high charge on that and manages to survive. What clutch heals coming out from Barbecue Dad on that front. Not enough there after Blue's Pick Bandit decides to focus fire at high quality, but uh, they are continuing to herd Barbecue Dad back towards their spawn. Uh, tough choke to try to push out for yeah. Barbecue Dad. And you know, definitely, Bar uh, Blue's Clues right now is a little bit uh, lacking in the alt economy. We have Suge coming online, but no defensible uh, coming quite yet. Orchestra is very close there. Lots of alts coming in favor of Barbie does. So it's just a matter of how they're going to play this smartly and efficiently to keep these alts prolonged in here. And there it is, starting off with Grab coming online from both sides and a pulse of up in favor Ooh. of Barbie yeah. Dad. Wow, and there it is. Kills going back and forth with Suge putting in the majority of the work for Blue's Clues Bandits, but. One man is not enough uh, to keep their team there and on the point. And point's gonna have to flip back in favor of Barbecue Dad. Hopefully they can get these last, not quite getting the last few kills, but good use of oak. They still got some, drop it. Definitely, they, are, they have a offensive and defensive all as they start to tick up. Uh, capture this point here. Um, on the flip side, we have a rally coming in favor of Blue's Clues Bandit, which can be a really strong, and as she, as I say that, she pops that ult in as the yeah. team engages. And Winston's, both Winston's Winston. have their primal pop, and another Winston is duplicated. Oh, There's three on the map right now. Three monkeys all primaling. Everyone is being flown around. <laughs> you can see all the bubbles being dropped from Zarya and from the Winston's. What a crazy mess there. Uh, but in the end, Chino is found by 037, but McNewby answers in kind for taking down his healer. Fight breaks out here on the left side towards the uh, ledge area, and looks like Clutch Caliber goes down, and Blue's Blue Bandits are getting the kills in favor of them. The Nano Winston here to continue cleaning? Maybe a bit overkill, Tropic? Potentially. Oh, it was maybe not. What a chase. Yeah. You know, Sage, she is doing some great work on the Ana. She is utilizing that. She's getting those nanos really quickly. Um, and it's a matter. Oh my God, Monkey might not even be able to touch her as we approach overtime here, Sid. Right. Thankfully, high quality is on that ball and able to touch at the very last moment and still keep a presence. The members of Barbecue Dad are trying to trickle on and retain any form of presence, but it's just Chino. He gets taken down by the brig, and that is all she wrote for Blue's Clues Bandit or for Barbecue Dad as Blue's Clues Bandits take this first match here on Nepal. Wow, Sid. You know, I got to, even though it was a 2-0 in favor of Blue's Clues Bandits. Oh, and here it is, oh, birthday boy. Birthday boy. Going <laughs> out with the play of the game here on the Reinhardt. Ready, um, birthday but... shatter? Oh, it's the king <laughs> when he cancels the reaper. Yeah, it happens really quickly, but he does pop Death Blossom I'm trying to, you know, turn the fight and Goliad there with the big what brain. Skin. There. Wait, not today. Sorry. Not today. <laughs> As your shirt says. <laughs> <laughs> but you not know what? All the pressure in the world, and it looks like this team thrives on pressure, Sid. They were, they 
gladly accepted the challenge coming in from Misfits and not, and they're not proving us wrong here. Um, we saw a lot of clean Overwatch play coming from them with even Goliath's uh, birthday shatter and birthday pin here. <laughs> Um, really um, playing defensively and taking away that um, that Reaper ult, which could have been played really big coming in from Barbecue Dads. But at the same time, Sid, um, I do see that Barbecue Dads is learning from their last match with Council of Anime Girls and resetting um, sooner than than later. Um, even though we they captured the point a little later. Um, we are sh we are seeing some clean plays coming out of them as well. Um, so I am excited as we come to the next next map here, which I believe will be payload. Um, how that will play a little bit, how that will play along. You know, said these control points are so tricky. With really, it's so important to be able to regroup because that clock goes very quick. So it seems like they might have a little bit more room to play around, regroup. Get get back into that groove that we are seeing bits of bits of a uh, plays coming in from barbecue dads. Um, so we'll see as we head to the next map. Yeah. Control is that it is based on possession and capping the point with full possession versus a clock ticking down. Um, and I wonder if that is. I mean, it's a completely different approach you have to take because any trickle in time you have actually is zero percent beneficial at least on any other type of hybrid or, or payload map, pushing it those two meters is technically helping. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what, what's yielded from these other map types, uh, especially with the different map geographies as a whole. It looks like we're gonna go to Junkertown, uh, which I do enjoy. Um, I like Junkertown. I love the warm sunniness of it. And to be honest, I know those sight lines can be nasty, but they really open up a lot of potential for players to shine. And you know, I saw a little bit of talk here in the match chat as we were talking, and Such was like, oh, hey, Clutch Gallibert, your pins made me real mad on that first one. <laughs> so uh, nice to hear that a little bit of a fire has been lit underneath Blue's Clues as well. Um, but I also want to say, after hearing Misfit rank them so highly, uh, it's great to see them starting off on a really strong foot. We had those other two teams that we mentioned that, you know, maybe aren't approaching this as seriously during these initial season games, uh, but they got taken advantage of on that front. And, you know, Blue's Clues, I hope, did hear us talk about that a little <laughs> bit, but either way, um, I, you know, I have respect for a team that starts strong because, it's a lot easier after you warm up, but half the time after you warm up, you're already behind. No, you are completely true. You're <laughs> completely right. Um, and you know what? Girl, they juked us again. They're actually going on to Rialto instead <laughs> of Dunker Down. <laughs> But you know what? We are still probably going to see some of those sniper sight lines like you were talking about on Junkertown's first point. Right. Um, we, what I'm excited to see is that Blue Sluice has shown case their flexibility of their team. We saw a little bit of brawl from them. We saw a little bit of dive from them. Uh, some double bubble action as well, um, which totally. seems to be steer heading this meta change uh with the hot press off the you know hot off the press patch notes that came in yesterday we're seeing a well, lot of ad brig as well um ho so hopefully they can keep that flexibility up they do only mm -hmm. have six players on the roster so that flexibility you mentioned is huge if that is their only resource pool and there's their players can play those other characters at the high level they are so well, good call even, there even though they do only have six players on the roster, that also could be a positive for them as well. That mm -hmm. they're used to playing with these these players um, in different characters and varieties. Yeah. Um, so rather than playing with one person where where you're like, I have more um, more of a groove with this brawl player uh, <laughs> over here or this die player over here, they are used to playing it all together. Um, so, you know, you mentioned they did the two point nine to. Uh... They climbed, right? They climbed, yeah. they climbed together as a team. And mm -hmm. I think that, you know, that might be what we see coming through is the synergy that they've had to, you know, grind together as a unit mm -hmm. and improve. Uh, you don't you hear know, that story very often with teams in general. Usually you're like, oh, I already started out at this really high number. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, that also just really showcases that they play together throughout these different metas that come along. 
that have Ooh. come along. Um, you know, from the double shield to the dive to the, um, you know, everything. Maybe not some goats. I'm not sure how far along <laughs> the history does, but you know what? Maybe even some goats. Right. Um, Maybe and pre rollock. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, that is a really solid point to bring up as well. I wonder how long they've been playing together on that front. Um, it does look like the teams have switched sides as well. So uh, Blue Squeeze Bandits are on the defense here. As we about this game, Carsey uh, Bad rolling out here, trying to find uh, the making ground, taking out different abilities from the opposing team here. Oh, a little bit of a high time gauge from both Winston's as However, jumps in to pursue currently those Zarya bubbles, hugely reinforcing them. Great job there from Such and High Quality on their pink line. Oh, the Echo Bee coming out as well, trying to get those Pokemon, but not quite finding it. Those bubble dances are very strong there. Oh, but Goliath gets taken from Vibe Traces. Uh, what a nice follow up. He was so low when he tried to hop out. Just a little bit too slow on that front. Blue Squid Bandit's now on the high ground. The barbecue bat is still uh, pushing the point. Nice jump up there, little slam down just to get a little poke. But oh, there's the kills coming in favor of Blue Squid Bandit as well. Now, um, Blue Squid Bandit have the point, and barbecue bat's gonna have to reset, drop it. Yeah, you know what? At least uh, Blue Swoos Bandits do have, or excuse me, Barbecue Sets do have that spawn advantage right now. We did see some, I'm really happy to see some change within uh, Blue's uh, Barbecue Dads. We're seeing definitely that double bubble meta coming online. Both teams are really mirrored right now. Um, so it's really a matter of which dives of the monkey and uh, which, which dives Flesh or Goliad are going to really hop on and who's going to get the first picks. Um, and here it is. Monkeys are diving in for looking for that first pick. Oh, and a really nice there with Omen as well, uh, peppering Audacity down just enough. Hopefully Sage, oh, she is safe. Thought that Tracer was gonna be nasty, but Omen, nasty themselves with the pull folk coming on to fight as well. Uh, that's gonna have to be a reset for Barbecue Dad. Yeah, you know, Blue Suits Bandits are really playing well right now and well as a team together. Um, I think it's really showcase. Oh, maybe a little bit of a glitch or even just buy some time here with Goliath's Primal. Uh, maybe a finger, not totally positive, but we are seeing that Gilead is increasing that all quite, quite rapidly. So maybe it's not going to be too much of an issue for them, but this is going to be a good time for um, Barbecue Dads to really take advantage of that lost all here and maybe... Uh, and maybe utilize, maybe, a uh, Echo, a uh, dupe on the monkey himself, so... Oh, here actually, dupe coming in through on the Zarya this time, but they are instantly anti as soon as they do. Good thing they have that self-bubble there to cleanse, and the Nano coming on to Clutch Caliber as well. Oh, what a great ultimate from Suge, keeping everyone right there in that hallway. No way for them to escape, even when they've been boosted so much. Bye, bye, oh, bye, Anna. Anna, please. Ooh, and Chino, he got that really nasty uh, anti on them. But you know what? Blue Spoos Bandits is just showcasing how well they are to play. They're able to play as a team and back off of each other. Uh, you know, Sage just kept her team alive as well as Orchestra uh, with that rally, just really showcasing the team as they are burning time down with only less than a minute for Barbecue Sass to even take this first point here. Yeah, and Blue Spoos Bandits has a lot of ultimates online. Hopefully, Barbecue Dad can really utilize this grab and get some big plays off of it to make space. Oh, and leading with a pull from onto Chino. That's gonna be tough for them. There's the grab coming through off the duplicated Winston as well. Uh, no major kills coming through. The duplicate is nullified on that front, but right now, oh, what? The suits just mows down Audacity from the high ground. I charge right now. Gets jumped on right by the Winston, but that self bubble is there. Winston uh, from Barbecue Dad Clutch Caliber pops his primal rage and is booping uh, Suge all around the map as well, but Blitz and Bandits are still holding the point here, pushing Barbecue Dad back. Ten seconds, seven seconds remaining now. They've got to make sure they stay on the point if they want any hope of OT and continuing to push here. A Goli Goliad staying on the point, doing his best as the tank, keeping that space. And oh, another kill! Omen oh, just putting in work here on those finals as well. Cannot count them out. Really nice job with Goliad making space for them. Oh what man. A hold from Blue Spoon. That is a close hold, Chopper. What a hold. Um, you know what? You you said it right there, Sid. Goliad is just making so much space for that team. Uh we are seeing that um Clutch is sometimes getting that first pick, but we are 
but Blue's Clues is able to just regroup as a team, even if one guy, one person is down, and just reset and back out a little bit if they need to, and push forward once they get that other team, or that other player back. Um, they are really taking Misfits Challenge on and showcasing what they are, they how they are a contenders team to be reckoned with right now. Mm -hmm. um, this first point, I would say, is in um, the the easiest to hold, full cap. Um, so really right, commending uh, Blue Slew's Bandits for their target focus. I would say that would be the winner's winner, the winning play from them right now is their target focus. Really um, hopping on those those um, low targets that uh, Golid uh, is lays out for the team um mm -hmm. and getting that up back up but it does look like uh barbecue dads is going to go back to their comfort of more of a brawly comp here we have mm -hmm. audacity with the with the reaper and i'm thinking that maybe um zillia is going on that mccree to stop that uh goliad's dives um that seems to be what is really um hurting them right now and so maybe if they take Gilly golad down uh they'll be able to burn this time down and win this map absolutely and you know zero through seven is I would argue they are not really feeling any of the echo nerves. Uh, they're not using yeah. focus beam long enough to feel the full half second drop <laughs> on that front. Uh, because most of the characters they mow down only need just the half second of focus beam there. Uh, they've been putting in a lot of work, but definitely just Omen has been following up on those low health targets left and right. Really nice high ground help here by Barbecue Dad. Uh, oh, Reaper does manage to fall down a little bit, but the bath is up there playing that corner. Uh, Barbecue Dad knows that eventually Blue's can has to drop down and engage them. Uh, they can stand up there all they want, and they'll never push the payload. Blue's uh, Clues is probably trying to bide their time. They know that this is a long game here, and if they can get one solid pick and Clear him out. <gasps> Owen with the opening pick here on the Audacity and 037 following up on Tank. Barbecue Dad is falling left and right and Blue Clues Bandits is cleaning them up and pushing the payload. Chopping. I don't know if Barbecue Dad is going to be able to touch on this. And no. Blue Clues is just rolling it in right there. Rolling uh, it in. There. No. Whoo, man. You know, we saw how methodical Blue's Clues is playing right now. They mm -hmm. were taking advantage of that high ground, looking for a player to maybe push out a little bit from a team or actually what they did is they were waiting for sage to make a huge nade which she did and then Red monkey pop right on top of that oh um, yeah great communication and play for overall um and you know what from it with barbecue dads it was a little unfortunate that they didn't pick up another tank maybe that were, was able to take advantage of that high ground maybe a diva mm -hmm. could have been a little more helpful to also uh kind of cut down um sage's antis and whatnot so i'm hoping yeah. that maybe they recognize that sage is also a player to be reckoned with and her and antis are going to be pretty nasty and maybe we do see a little bit more of a diva um i'm not i wouldn't be i'm probably not a sigma i would say especially that we are going more of a double bubble um but diva could be something that could help uh barbecue bandits out uh barbecue <laughs> 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 Barbecue dads out. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, I'm just a little quick shout out back to Goliath there, the birthday boy, with another play of the game in a row for this set. Uh, but I do want to call off the fact that Barbecue Dad, uh, their Zarya high quality was, mm. wait, when they played against Council of Anime Girls, high quality was doing a massive amount of work as far as staying charged, staying alive and keeping charge uh bubble maintenance and decision making of like the timing aspect on that front i think that blues clues bandits identified them as a big threat during the control map and uh you know i've said it before you can try to shut down players or at the minimum contain them and i think blues clues bandits are definitely doing a good job at containing high, high quality Definitely. And I think that um, Barbecue Dads is also trying to recognize that Goliad is this at the same time really doing a lot of work. Yep. Um, they did switch it from the um, Mahog and the McCree in the end there, and even the Reaper. Um, so they're recognizing that Goliad needs to go down as well um, and trying to switch up their gameplay to attack that. 
Um, you know, even though we are 2-0 um, with Blue Clues in favor here, we are seeing a lot of um, improvement coming in from Barbecue Dads. And, you know, here at Owlette, that's all we want to see, too. This is a oh, journey yeah. where we want to see these players evolve and just become better. Um, so we get, you know, maybe that's selfish that so we have awesome Overwatch, but it's really exciting to, um, you know, cast these players week after week and see how they're improving here. Um, with that being said, uh, they still are, they still have, you know, they still have a chance here, 100%. Mm -hmm. oh, um, yeah. we, we saw that, um, especially in that last map, that they were making those those switches around and maybe mm -hmm. maybe not the best map to, um, maybe maybe instead of, maybe it could have been Roadhog Zarya, um, or sorry, oh. Roadhog Diva to, yes. um, you know, be able to combat that um, that high ground yeah. as well. well um, and the echo as well. Um, their echo, uh, Blue's Clues' echo was just constantly up there on that high ground, not always at the mercy pocket this time either. So I definitely agree with you on that front. Uh, maybe a diva or maybe just more air pressure in general. Uh, mm -hmm. Pressure from, you know, damage. Pressure from above. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but on that note, we have seen a bunch of reverse sweeps here at Outlet already. I mean, I say yeah. a bunch. It's been like, what, two or three maybe? Um, both coming from some of the higher ranking teams. So it could be Barbecue Dad's time to, you know, really show us what they're made of and uh, hopefully change up some of their style. They do typically lean towards a little bit of a brawl. Uh, it'll be interesting to see which map they choose next uh, and, you know, if it, how well it complements their style and preferences. Definitely. You know what I'm really hoping as well is that they aren't letting this get to them get to the like the team in, in general um totally. you know overwatch is such a mental game at the same time you know we don't want to tilt we don't want to do that but sometimes you know we're people too yeah <laughs> we get frustrated. um and it's hard you know yeah. and uh you know you're you're trying so hard and you you're making some big plays with from all the players but it's yeah. just not enough in that moment but i'm hoping mm -hmm. that they utilize this as a our time has come guys we're gonna take a mental break we're gonna breathe we're having fun <laughs> <laughs> and um and you know just take this reverse sweep if it's anything like last week we might be going to hollywood again Ooh. which you know that map is such a diverse map that on that first point you could come in with a brawl you could come in with a dive um mm -hmm. and it seems like blues clues is playing more into that to that um meta which is the yeah. double bubble anna anna nay anna and a brig. <laughs> um, so maybe barbecue dads will recognize that and rather, mm -hmm. oh, you know what? I'm a liar. We are going to Eichenball this round. We're oh. going to the castle. Um, <laughs> to the fortress. To the fortress. And, well, so Eichenwald actually is not a terrible May map because that is a very narrow choke. And we did see both teams bring out May uh, in the control map of Nepal in uh village that's mm -hmm. the map the first one very first one um so it'll be interesting to see if they actually bring the may out again uh to you know section off the team and isolate those players who have been caught out or over pushed um, mm -hmm. or, or trying to retreat arguably <laughs> that's some of the best where you're like mm, where do you think you're going nowhere well i'm coming you. for you <laughs> you show in the corner <laughs> Um, but, you know, I'm excited to go over to Eichenwald. It looks like we're going to be heading over there pretty soon. Mm -hmm. You know, Tropic, before we get too far into this map, I just want to say quick shout out to our producer, Teddy. Uh, Teddy. You're awesome. And thanks for working with us this evening and producing this very beautiful stream uh, and, you know, giving it over here to uh, us as well so we can see the game. So uh, on that note, these teams here getting ready to line up on Eichenwald. We have a lot different map geometry uh, comparatively to especially control. There's a lot of high ground um, and it's a hybrid, right? So you got to cap the first point and then push the payload. Mm -hmm. And you know and what? Here we are coming with Blue's Clues, double bubble trouble. Here we are. Uh, and you know what? On the flip side, Barbecue Dads seems like we're going to go with a pre instead of that echo, which maybe we'll do a little bit better with... Um, with Goliath's monkey. And also Chino yeah. is going more of that Moira. Oh, yeah, we're going more to Moira Lucio. Nice. Um, which also could be because, um, you know, Goliath's bubbles. Um, yeah. well, really, um, I actually, 
I think that uh, part of it is also Omen on Tracer. Omen's been getting a lot of final blows on those low health targets, uh, which shows great communication on the from Blue's Clues Bandits to say, hey, this is a low target, and Omen doesn't have to one clip anybody. He just has to one tickle or one sneeze at someone. <laughs> uh, but as the fight is continuing to break out here, Barbecue Dad uh, moving around up to the high ground, really nice pathway up here, trying to create an advantage for themselves. Oh, oh what a nasty fancy coming through, forcing them to back off and definitely let that up. Uh, clear off before they can do any form of solid engagement there. Goliath is the first to go down by Chino. Nice job from the bloodthirsty healer there. He, uh, Clutch Catcher, or yeah, Clutch Caliber drops in, uh, continuing to push Blue's Clues Bandits back off the point. And one hit has already been tapped from Barbecue Dad. There's the Coalescence coming out from fight as well. And the kills are just coming in favor of the Barbecue Dad as they tap the point. And you know what? This is why I love Overwatch, Sid. Barbie U Dad's coming back up, 5.30 on the clock and counting. Um, they already capped this point and really put a surprise um, to Blue's Clues Bandits right here. Coming up top in an organized, seemly manner, playing defensively even after that nade, kind of, you know, trying to regroup. And here they are again, coordinated and target focused as they engage. Three monkeys on the court right now. Uh, here's the Duke from 037, also popping the primal as well. Primal comes out from clutch in response additionally, and uh, fights just breaking out all around the map, to be honest. There's a, there it is, by the payload. Unfortunately, Chino does go down from Barbecue Dad, and uh, well, that's going to be a reset for him. Yeah, definitely a reset there, but they still have a lot of time on the time bank and also the spawn advantage um, for this first point as well. Um, we mm -hmm. have a lot of alts coming in for favor of Blue's Clues, though, um, you know, to be able to really burn this time down and really potentially hold uh, before Barbecue Dennis can get the second point. Um, so I'm hoping to see a big uh, pulse graph potentially coming up this next fight, and here it is! Oh, okay. McNewbie pops the high noon. He gets left out of it though. What a beautiful job by Sage. She nails him right out of the ultimate there. Goliath does go down, but Suge is there to continue putting in the work and clearing space. Uh, Blue Blue's Bandits clean up, dropping. Oh man, Blue Blue's Bandits is just having a randle time, uh, really taking advantage of Sage's antis. Um, you know, fight Leaps. is that... <laughs> <laughs> fight, oh, it has that, that Moira, but... It's so, there's so much more of a, and it's just so much more of a stronger value with those aids versus um, the open space that I can pull has right here for those damage ores versus over here. And here we are going to uh, press the point on this high ground. Looks like teams are going to push this high ground together. All right. Well, uh, yeah, it looks like the tracer duel here breaking out on the side near the payload. Uh, but that's the name of the game. Keep pushing. Uh, keep pushing the payload there <laughs> as the rest of your team is continuing to engage on this top bridge here. <gasps> 037 is the first to go down, and the grab is still capturing two members of Blue's Three right there at the end of Blue's Clues Bandits. No one goes down quite from it, but there it is. Suchin's grab also thrown in response as well. Bubbles go down. Really nice job pla placing those, trying to just protect right out of their uh, fire there. Only gets the pull strong kill on the Chino, and another Duke is coming through, this time from this, on the Zarya from 037. She's getting aggressive there, as you do. When you're Duke trying to build enough for that grab, getting just tossed around by the Winston there, and once you have the grab, you hold them still. You know what, I really, I understand what Barbecue Daz were trying to do with going up top and taking advantage of that high ground and drop, but it was just not played quick enough. Um, instead, it really backfired against them, and Blue's Clues really took advantage of that, utilized some ults, and um, burned them down at, right there, and burned the time as well. We are down to 220 and counting. Lots of ults coming in favor of Barbecue Dad, so the fight is not over. I'm hoping to see if, oh, maybe a high unit will come out here as they go up here. Ooh. Alessence gets shot through this hallway as well, and she managed to take down Omen, and Sage goes down as well. That is two members down for Blue's Clues, looking really good for Barbecue Dad here. They need to go and push this point. This is their time to shine and make a lot of progress on cart movement. You know what? They played that perfectly there. They played that with speed and efficiency and really took down, mowed down those, um, those players uh, with that whole lesson, so shout out to Fight. Um, we still have ults coming online for both teams right now with Such having a grab. Are they going to be able to touch this point? And it looks like he is going to try to touch this point and keep it here with Rally. 
Definitely initiated. Sure. Yeah, Blue Clues Bandits definitely doing their best to group up. Hyman gets popped by McNuby at the top, and the grab is thrown from Scooch as well, grouping up a lot of to grab. Omen goes down, and so does McNuby. Oh man, it is looking rough for Barbecue Dallas. They have a very long walk back from Spawn with 120 left on the clock. Uh, kills now for favor of Barbecue Dad, though, so they are looking to turn this fight around. Goliad with the Earth Shatter doesn't find anyone getting real quick on that, but doesn't matter. Manages wow. to clear Barbecue Dad. Great gameplay coming in from Blue Spoof Bandits. Really, um, I'm sure the communication was there to be like, touch, 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 touch! <laughs> Um, you know, but at the same time, we have a lot of alls coming online, Sid, for yeah. um, Barbecue Dads uh, to really take back this fight with a potentially a uh, high quality grab. <laughs> yeah, we're high quality. Off the Winston as well. Uh, onto the Reinhardt. What a pull bomb stick there on the clutch catcher from Omen with the extra help from uh, Sage. Definitely glad that she's there to back him up. And please, please, is hurting okay. Barbecue Dad back. Ooh. Three seconds, Tropic. Oh, yeah. I mean... You know what? You know what? Blue Slew's bandits did a really good job of really pushing um, <laughs> up right here, and it was really a strategic push because oh. they are burning down the clock. Now they are trying to touch before they can. Um, they know they have spawn advantage if they do go down, and we gotta get Monkey to touch now or Tracer. Absolutely. We have ten seconds left, even less now, and a lot of. Old... He's down. There's Cola. Once again, by fight, and they're grouped up just for him, right there by the grab and by from high quality. Uh, ultimates are getting thrown left and right. This is the fight here for them to continue making or breaking it. Two kills from the long distance high noon from the bridge from 037, but McNuby is still trying to get some work done. High quality is all alone on the point here, trying to do it out with the two DPS. It's a good spot flashbang. They're so low, trying to keep that shield on and. Oh, oh man, she, they almost had it. Oh, wow. Sid, oh. taking that last fight for, he got a team kill alone there. Popping it off, <laughs> even, though his, even though the tanks went down first. Um, Coming behind, Um, honestly, oh, I'm sorry. He broke me a little bit there. <laughs> um, you know what, 037 really played it well. He was really methodical with um knowing that all Barbecue Dads was thinking about was getting on that payload. We are down to mm -hmm. the seconds we are getting into overtime we got to get on that payload so he knew that that was their mentality there took advantage of that went on the high ground even though his tanks went down popped the high noon dropped down and played well with his tracer mm -hmm. really and coming from behind that was the point um that's the point i'm trying to make is yeah. that 037 just had um great positioning in that end fight and i gotta i gotta give it to him um blues clues bandit should be thanking 037 right now oh, yeah. for that I mean, last bit Part of it is also, you know, it is a risk to take such a far uh, approach yes. and path to pop your ultimate. Um, when you're disengaged from the fight like that, it is possible your team needs you and you're not there and they all get mowed down before you can even get into position. Exactly. So it also goes to show you that, you know, Blue's Clues Bandits knew the plan, knew they just needed to bide time enough for, uh, for them to get into position. Yep. No, Easier you're... said than done to be patient, especially when you're in the thick of battle and, you know, getting <laughs> yeah. tracer bullets thrown at you and grabs and these giant monkeys whooping you around and duplicated in your face, okay? Uh, three monkeys on the court seems to be like a pretty common occurrence. Wonder if we'll see it again coming up with this next fight or this next uh, lineup here. McNewby just peeking around, trying to find those headshots. Oh! <gasps> Pick on a save yeah, from McNuby. That is going to put Blue's Clues Bandits behind here for this push, first push as they are down a healer and a DPS now as well. Uh, McNuby does get taken down, but uh, I think they're going to be fine on the way back. No, definitely. And what I'm really enjoying seeing is that as soon as uh, he got that initial pick um, on Sage, they pushed in. High quality coming in with Beam out and about <laughs> and uh burning down everybody else um forcing them to reset three minutes on the clock here some mm -hmm. not and no ults coming on both sides but i'm hoping to see a big anti so to make some space for um blue Suits bandits to initiate yeah and i think zalazia has been doing a pretty good job at following up on those low target low health targets like we 100%. had mentioned omen was doing earlier as well goliad with a nice bubble from her there zarya definitely needed that as we were starting to drop quite low but kills coming in favor of barbecue dad 
loose, loose bandits are getting herded back to that archway traffic. Man, um, you know, Clutch is really showing that he is a player to not to not be taken lightly. He has to be shown a little bit more respect. Um, and Blue Sluice Bandits, I think, is really seen. Um, Barbecue Dad's coming back up. Um, they've really got to get some sort of initiation pick to be able to push and make space here. I mean, they are looking for that. Here it is. Oh, and here we both Winston's bubbles are out, and the coalescence comes out from fight again. It has been a huge factor in their opening uh, arsenal here. Such man to find a uh, Galazia Abel as an answer, and the dragons are tearing through, but it is not enough as uh, zero three seven takes down two players and. Uh, Omen takes down another as well. Flame is getting capped by these blue standards. The sleep mid primal! Nice job there! Gets woken up instantly, but plenty of people to help mow down that health pool. Who, just as I, as I was about to give props to McNewby for breaking down those shields, Blue Swiss Bandits pulls right back in and gets those kills um, and says, I don't really need a shield. I just gotta, you know, beam everybody down. Um, totally. And, you know, Blue's Coast Bandits does have a lot of ult here. I'm sure that we might see some monkeys juggling here soon, um, since that seems to be the theme with the Echo Dupes, um, as it does look like we are looking for some plays here from 037. And, uh, Claire. Right, and apologies here to you, 037, formally. Uh, it's Leo. 037 backwards is Leo. So they are oh. also known as Leo. Shout out to Teddy, <laughs> thanks for correcting that. Fight breaking out here on the top of the point. Primal Rage, there's two monkeys once again from Blue's Clues Bandits. Primal Rage has been topped by Goliath and now once again by the Duke Leo as well. They're trying to boop around the same target at one point, but now they've separated. They know what they're, where they're, who they're going for. Both crabs are thrown and just coming in for both sides with Zalazia getting two. It is not going to be enough though as the remainder of their team did get mowed down. Leo cleaning up. Oh man, what a big pulse bomb coming in. But Chino is does have B on the way. Could be really could be really needed as we have a nano and a pulse coming online for Blue Scoos Bandits. It's gonna be a matter of if they're gonna be able to touch though as a monkey is blocking the door and here it is. I tried to able to squeeze through as well. Pulse bomb almost finds a kill, oh, but that sound barrier was so clutch. The sound ba Oh, Dragon's coming through as well, daring through, not finding a ton of targets. Zalazia putting in work though as the tracer, only trying to keep carrying as well. Goliad oh, moving ooh. people around at the point. Oh, man, just to boop off the other way, see too. Moira dashing around, trying to avoid getting booped off and keeping the pressure and presence on the point so Bruce's bandits cannot continue to push it. You know, Blue Squid Bandits did a really smart play here and backed out um, when trying to really keep eye and eye on that that point. Um, when they realized that the fight was lost and that spawn advantages go into Barbecue Dads, they said, we're out, let's regroup and play again. We mm -hmm. have, we are building all still, we have a dupe online, probably gonna have a monkey party again. But on the flip side, uh, we also have some alts coming in online for Barbecue Dads. And McNewby yeah. is doing a great job at really taking, it, taking out that shield fast. Absolutely, and they were doom fist there for the last minute uh, swap for you know uh, because of the time aspect. But now they're back on that Hanzo. Ooh, clutch oh, caliber! Ooh. What a boom on the Goliath straight off the map for them. Really nice job there, and oh, the grab manages to catch them. There's a lot of members of Barbecue that oh, grab. Oh, the pulse grab is so nasty coming out from Omen. So many characters, and then following up. Uh, it is just going to be Chino as the Lucio, oh, trying to stall it out. Leo takes him down, no mercy there. What a push, what a win there what? by Blues, Blues Bandits. Oh, what, you know what, Le uh, Omen was like, y'all giving Leo a little bit too much props. I'm going to make my own play here. <laughs> really making some plays as Tracer with that 3k pulse bomb, but here mm -hmm. it is, Leo's, uh, Big initiation here with his high noon. Um, I am, it, it, it looks like the, the map uh, win this week will go in favor of Blue's Clues Bandits. They really showcased today in their their official debut after weeks one's forfeits um, that they are a team to be reckoned with. They, I'm pretty sure Misfits is just proud of them right now. That, <laughs> you know, you got y'all prove me right. <laughs> Thank um, you for making me sound smart on my power rankings and on the map. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but on the flip side, barbecue dads, you know, they really put their full force. And I can even tell just improvements with last week's game to this week's game. Um, oh. And I can all, I'm really excited to see barbecue dads continue to evolve.
as I did. I was really disappointed. I was hoping it would just hold out just a little longer. They had a little bit of room to play to be able to maybe get another player on the team. Um, so I'm hoping that Barbecue Dads takes his VOD um, and maybe works on their stall game a little bit more. I think that they could have definitely got this point, taken advantage of the spawn advantage that they had and won that last fight. But again, great, great Overwatch coming from both teams and congratulations to Blues Who's Vanis on their official first win. Their debut, debut year. win, yes. debut non, win specifically, non forfeit <laughs> win, <laughs> the real win where they actually the played one. and showed the real that they got it. Um, <laughs> yeah, and you know, all in all, it was great to see uh, kind of that. At this point, like there were a lot of huge impacts coming from the patch notes. We still saw Echo played really heavily, which I mean, I, like I said, I don't know if a two point, a two second focus beam is that big of a difference uh, okay. if you're anyone other than a tank, to be honest. Um, and it, I really think that the communication was strong for both teams. You saw a lot of the follow-ups coming in from the DPS on those low health targets. Yeah. And, you know, I appreciate clean and consistent overwatch on that front as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, but definitely. Other um, they than that, really, they really no, go ahead. <laughs> They, um, you know, like you made a great point that, you know, the echo changes really didn't um, make a difference with Leo or Omen, um, mm -hmm. but it really showcases that they know how to play well, that even though they can, um, you know, for instance, echo can burst down with a sticky bomb plus beam, yeah. um, Omen was right there to back up Leo when he went and made an engagement, mm -hmm. um, which mm -hmm. just really showcases how, even though they are only a six man crew, they are a strong six man, uh, six man and lady, sorry, uh, crew to be reckoned with. And talking about the lady, Sage, she was making some big plays as Anna. You know, yeah. Unsung Hero always goes to supports in my eyes because those uh, antis really opened up the fight to enable the. DPS and tanks to collapse on the enemy team. Yeah. Barbecue Dad was rotating around, getting ready to engage. Uh, abilities are coming off of cooldown. And then all of a sudden, boom, out of nowhere, half the team's anti. And yeah. that's not an opening you can engage on, regardless of what abilities you have uh, off of cooldown. Even if you have all of them, really only if you're someone who can self-cleanse or you use your escape ability, which no. defeats the point of an engagement. Um, so I, she did a great job at taking one ability uh, and having it have a very high impact against the team, which is a, in perspective, if you're only using one ability and it's causing that much disruption, that means that you have basically maximize the potential of that ability. And that goes, you know, with any character here in Overwatch, um, the nade does have a bit of a cooldown, nothing like immortality field, uh, but definitely enough where, okay, it takes four seconds for nade to cleanse. So that's still four seconds of your cooldown uh, that they're not going to engage on no, still. Definitely. And then maybe another second to pop in. So definitely it's making some lots of plays coming in from Sage, but We'll be right back, folks. We are actually going to have the pleasure of having one of Blue's Clues Bandits coming in for an interview. So give us a couple minutes to get that set up, and we'll be right back.
see in terms Imagine of Imagine Jimmy Neutron, but like playing Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Oh uh, man! Brain blasts <laughs> all the time for us. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you guys might have heard that Misfits put you guys in his top ranking, number one ranking. Um, how are you guys taking that? Are you taking that with a stride of challenge accepted and we are going to show that we are contenders team? And are you guys excited to play with the other um, top teams, we'll say, uh, Storybook Villains and um, Council of and Council Anime, Anime Girls? Girls? Oh, most definitely uh, excited to go against those teams. We were watching them play last week and... Uh... I would say we're not intimidated. However, we give them the respect they deserve. But I think he's got us in the right spot at the top of the rankings. Let's just say that. Is there anyone in particular that you guys want to either challenge or, I mean, it could be player, it could be team, even the other coach if you actually want. Um, yeah, anyone you want to challenge or keep your eye on? Hmm, that's a good question. Um. I'll go for uh, it. Sorry, Sage. Yeah, do it. Are, are we both just deferring right now? I challenge you to answer this question, Sage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I double challenge you, so. Oh, okay. Oh, um, double either way, I mean, we know the two uh, <laughs> top-ranking teams uh, other than maybe you guys, okay? After that performance, I would like to say that my power rankings have definitely shifted. Um, and I'm looking forward to the upcoming weeks that you guys do face off against them. Awesome. Definitely. Thank Can't you. Can't wait. But lastly, no, not least, anybody you want to shout out to uh, before we close up? Oh, yeah, definitely. Our main tank player, Goliad. It is his birthday. So if we could get a happy birthday, Goliad, in chat. Uh, it, hey. it, it's just so awesome hey. that he's spending his birthday playing with us. <laughs> Hell yeah. Happy yeah I mean, we were in for such a treat to see him play. He did fantastic on that Winston, uh, sometimes two Winstons with you, Jonathan, <laughs> as the Duke Winston Leo, uh, two yep. primal rages. Um, and he was doing a great job clearing a map, like clearing space and allowing uh, you and Omen to follow up on those. Yeah, he's he is our main tank and uh, he, he carries pretty hard sometimes. And I think today was uh, no exception. Totally. Sage, that you call out as well? Um, I would like to call out our coach, Kao. Uh, he is so smart and he has helped us out so much, especially with all the meta shifts and just how to really uh, immerse ourselves in a comp and understand why the things that we do are valuable or not valuable. And honestly, like we have grown so much because of him. and He's such a great guy. And so definitely Kao. Man, and you know what? We definitely see that. Um, and thank you guys both for interviewing with us uh, after the game. It was a pleasure to have both of you on. Um, but you heard it here, folks. Blue's Clues Bandits is making their debut and their name heard that they are a contenders team for season 3.9 of Owlet. But as we wrap things up, folks, um, we do have a match coming up at 10 p.m. Eastern um, here in the next 50 minutes or so on the Owlette Tournament channel, um, Twitch channel, as well as matches um, for week two on Sunday as well. So don't forget to check those out. As always, make sure to check out um, Owlette Tournament, twitch.tv. Hit that, that uh, like button and follow us. Um, and Discord, of course, is right below. But we will see everybody next time. Um, and of course, thank you to all the production crew, Teddy, shout um, and Barbecue Dads and Disappointments and Blues Who's Band is for playing today's game. We will see you on the next one, folks. Have a great day. Cheers. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare
Charting the stratosphere yeah, yeah. I prayed for you 